This is a good question. Go um, for it. They just, oh, this is a really good question. And I think that you were talking about this. What's that? Um, what about the Asians taking over Africa? Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. I made the comment when yeah, I was in Yeah, you talked about it. Yeah. Right. yeah. Ethiopia, right? The only African nation to never be colonized up until now. Ethiopia is one of the largest recipients of Chinese aid in the world. Ethiopia also has a female president now. Shout out to the queen. But guess what? Ethiopia better do something fast because they are becoming over dependent on Chinese support. And why is the Chinese taking over Africa? Because they studied what the white man did and they said we're going to do it better than the white man. They are coming into Africa for four reasons. Reason number one, the China man is coming into Africa. China is overpopulated. I was just there a year ago in January of 18. There's too many of them. They got over 2 billion people in one country. America is only, what, 500 million? Mm. They got 2 billion. China is looking for unexploited lands where they can send their excess poor people. Africa is perfect. That's number one. We got to reduce the population of China, so we're going to send all of our unwanted to Africa. Same thing Britain did when they founded the 13 yep. colonies. Second reason China taking over Africa, look at all the poor Africans. Can you imagine a better place to go and open up your factories and businesses where you can pay people even less than what you pay them in China? There's no minimum wage in many African mm. countries for foreign businesses. You can, you can exploit African labor better than you can exploit, exploit Taiwanese and Vietnamese labor. So the second reason they're in Africa, because guess what? I keep more of the profit. Mm. Third reason they're in Africa is to take over the resources, just like the white man. That's why they're giving out all these loans. These are not grants. Let me be clear. Mm. The money that <clears throat> China is giving Africa are not grants. They are loans. You might say, why is China giving Kenya more money than they know Kenya can pay back? You follow me? Mm -hmm. Why are they giving a poor country like Ethiopia more money? Because they don't want you to pay it back. Right. Because when you look at the contract, guess what it says? If you default right. on this when loan, loan we keep all your, your tea right. fields are mine. Mm -hmm. All your copper <laughs> mines are mine. Mm -hmm. All your oil reserves are mine. And guess what? You already have an African nation that has defaulted on the loan. I think it was Kenya, but don't quote me. As a result of the default, <clears throat> China now owns all of a particular resource in that country. And the fourth reason that they are in Africa is to make the Africans dependent on them culturally, intellectually, educationally, and otherwise because China plans to colonize Africa the same way the white man did. And I'm hurting by saying this, y'all. You know yeah. why I'm hurting? Because Patrice Lumumba died for Africa to be free. Thomas Sankara died for Africa to be free. Steve Biko died for Africa to be free. Chris Hani died for Africa to be free. Amakal Cabral died for Africa to be free. And after all the blood that has been spilled, Deedon Kamathi died for Africa to be free. And after all the blood has been spilled, you mean to tell me 60 years after we kicked the white man out, you want to roll out the red carpet to the Chinese? It's like slavery all over again. It's slavery all over. Oh, but it's different now because guess what the yes. Chinese are doing? They adding a little twist. They're building military bases and police stations everywhere they set up shop. I'm going to be interviewed by DJ Booty Magazine next week. They contacted me last night. They want to interview me because Djibouti is the first African country that has a Chinese police station. Can I ask you a question? If you are the president mm. of Wakanda, right. you are a sovereign nation. I want to come and do business in your sovereign nation. Can you please tell me why you allow me to bring my own police? You are a sovereign nation. Part of being sovereign means what? You control the military. But Africa is letting China bring their own police. Let me tell you what's going to happen. Lord. Let me tell you what's going to happen. The Chinese as disrespect. And by the way, they are as disrespectful in Africa as they are here. Right. So when you read these stories in New York about the sister being beat up in the nail salon. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. They do the same thing in Africa. Yeah. Oh, I've, the Chinese think they own it. When you go, you want to see what I'm talking about. Guess what? I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. There's going to be a conflict. An African is going to get disrespected by a Chinese. It's going to turn into a group conflict, and the Chinese military is going to hurt one of our African brothers and sisters. It's going to turn into a civil war. Yeah. And then China is going to send a whole army in. 
and they're going to colonize that whole country. And they're going to do just like America does. We're just making your country safe for democracy.